information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com <laughs> Welcome to the Changing Stage, music gear talk from the manufacturers and musicians who define the biz. Here's your host, Florentino Buenaventura. Welcome to the Changing Stage. My name's Florentino, and we are on the WS Radio Networks. And we've got another show of shows again for you today. Want to invite and welcome a very special, talented, amazing young lady who is going to be taking the music industry by storm. She goes by Trisha's, and I'd like to introduce Trisha's going to be our co host for today. Hello, guys. So, Trisha's, uh, welcome. Thank you for having me. You're, you are more than welcome. And I wish you could see this lovely lady. You actually can because you've got a Facebook. And yes. So how, those things. how can people find out about you? Before we kind of get into everything, I want to kind of set the tone with web, email, smoke signals. How can they know about Trisha's? Um, you can go to my Facebook page. Um, it's facebook.com slash Trisha's Music, T-R-I-S-H-E-S Music, um, or just my website, Trisha's.com. Yeah, I got my Twitter, Trisha's Music, so... She's, uh, well, I have to first start off with how we met you. Uh, we were actually playing a show together down at the Heart Lounge. Yeah, and really cool place. It was an open mic night. We were all having a good time, and you, ju- you just amazed both me and Paul here. Oh, with, thank with, you. With your talent. Let me tell you guys, she got up there by herself. She had one little Korg. Was it a Korg keyboard? No, it, um, I had a RC300, the Boss RC300 loop station. Loop, okay, loop station. And um, the TC Helicon Voice Live Touch 2. Okay. So, so, yeah. So she's a technology guru as well. And yeah. She, she did this whole, this whole, uh, her whole uh, performance with looping and with uh, the, this the, the vocal gear and. It floored everybody there. It was a, it was a magical night. It was rainy. We didn't think anybody was going to show up, but we yeah. had the, like the best talent there. We had Opie, uh, the the rapper, and of course we had the guys from Organic Alliance and stuff like that. So yeah, it was super fun. Yeah, it, it was it, a it, great place, and they have really good soup. <laughs> they do. They have great food there. Actually, I had Art from the Heart Lounge on because we had that big uh, um, the uh, the, oh, the cause, right. uh, cool. that show with the uh, uh, International Justice Mission. So. Um, so you did a song there. But did, uh, I can't remember. Is it that special song that we're going to be playing a little bit later on? I'm not sure if I did Swimming Pool um, there. I, at that open mic, I only had my loop station and my um, my vocal effects processor, mm-hmm. but I usually also have a keyboard. Yeah. Um, so I don't think I played it that night, but I I played some some songs I really love anyway, so... And you had, you did a couple of covers too to kind of just you yeah. just kind of uh, randomly with one of the one of the oh uh, yeah <laughs> that was fun that was fun that was very cool so now let's kind of talk a little bit about your your history kind of you know you're a great singer I've heard a lot of the the, the tracks that you have off your web page um, you've got a new single that's coming out now that's all that's happening today what hap- what kind of got you into playing music what is your what drew you into that passion of, of expressing yourself that way? I'm not really sure. I was always a very loud child, and it just nah. happened naturally. <laughs> um, I, I've been singing since I was really little. Okay. Uh, I was the youngest of all of my cousins for a long time, and I would just sing everywhere, and I think it was probably really annoying. Um, and I was just generally loud. Um, and I started writing songs when I was pretty young. They were pretty bad. <laughs> but just something I've I've always I've always been doing. That's not, awesome. Yeah. And uh, so was it a musical family? You know what? Not not necessarily. My dad um, is really into uh, sound. He, he used to student teach for Amar Bose, the mm-hmm. owner of Bose. Um, so I know music has been a passion of his for a while um, and that actually got him into engineering but um, other than that 
not a particularly musical family. Well, audio engineer, that's pretty that's pretty awesome. So, I mean, you have great sounding recordings. Was he the engineer on those recordings? My dad's actually an electrical engineer. Oh, okay. Uh, right. But um, no, my that's the I, musical side of me going. Engineer <laughs> is a yeah. audio engineer. Okay. Um, so my I actually record with my friend Tyler. Okay. He's an amazing um, producer and engineer. And um, we're a team. We have a very like brother sister relationship, and he's my best friend. And oh, that's so. that's yeah. Somebody who can be passionate with you is great. Instead of just somebody you pay a dollar to and they totally. produce it from what they perceive is the value of that. So it's great when it's just all about the heart. Uh, we're really a bit really big on expressing ourselves here and doing things from the soul. So that's that's awesome. Now you've done a couple of other tracks. What uh, tell us a little bit about the history of, of your recording and uh, some of the stuff I heard was really cool. It was almost it was eclectic pop, so it had a unique uh, feel and sound to it, but it was accessible, which was which to me really was was you know really impressive. Thank you. That's that's my goal. So um, that makes me really happy to hear. Uh, I do um, so I do vocal looping live. But when I go to record something, I usually make a work tape that's just all vocals. I don't write with any instruments. I write everything in my head, and then I go on my computer. I do everything with vocals, vocal percussion and um, vocal layers, oohs and ahs, and there's a lot of those. Um, and then we use that as kind of the skeleton when I go in to record. Um, and... Did then, you know that Michael Jackson, that's how he used to write his songs? Really? Yeah, exactly that way. He would, I've heard, actually heard tracks of him, you know, he's beatboxing, uh, the bass lines are all his voice, uh, he is doing uh, all the different swells of the strings with his voice. Oh, uh, wow, I so, had no idea, that's so very cool. You were in good company. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so continue on, so that's how you prepare for this, mm -hmm. and you're using a lot of different type of technology, how did you... Uh, what got you into the technology and how did you learn about it? I actually, I went to the Berkeley College of Music in Boston and there was a, a really phenomenal... Never heard of it. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> That's an amazing school, so continue. Um, there was a really phenomenal singer-songwriter. Um, her name is Julia Easterlin and she kind of um, introduced me to the, the vocal looping because I saw her perform at school. Um, and then when I started writing in this way, I started writing in this way because I, I was sick of writing with a piano. Okay. Um, I, I got so sick of the, the progressions. And so I just started making weird progressions. And so, um, so that's why I start, stopped writing with an instrument. And when I started writing with only my voice, it just made sense that to, to, put that on a live stage i needed to do vocal looping yeah. and have a vocal effects processor to get get what i wanted out of the vocals awesome awesome so now you've got one new song coming out you've done some really cool things as in way of uh marketing i've noticed on your facebook you had a bunch of friends and uh just people doing a version of of your single that's coming out swimming pool which will be previewing here in a minute yeah i actually released it um a week or so ago so it's um it's on itunes and amazon and stuff like that are we gonna already. be the first radio show playing it second second okay i, I, could, <laughs> I could i could handle that the, yes first in my hometown first located in my hometown though. Oh, okay <laughs> so um that's, per that's great um yeah so this it's called swimming pool Mm -hmm. It's a summer song. It's about being really hot and not having a swimming pool. <laughs> and so it gets like it's it's very deep and emotional. <laughs> it's yeah. It's, it's rough life when you can't have a swimming it's, pool in the heat. I have a rough life sometimes, guys. <laughs> well, you're originally from San Diego, but mm -hmm. you live in LA. So let's yeah. kind of let everybody know where you're at. We, we have that problem here where we have such terrible weather where we actually have to wear coats when it goes below 70 degrees and you know when it goes above you know it's we're rough. like we're whining so <laughs> it's rough out here definitely so your marketing what's your marketing plan for the single 
So I have a I have a video coming out in the middle of June, but from now to then, I kind of just want to get my friends involved and my fans involved in fun different ways. So um, one thing's like like you were talking about, we're doing these swimming pool chorus covers where I have some amazing friends and artists um, covering the the chorus of swimming pool in in different ways. Uh, which is super fun. Um, and they can check that out on, on your Facebook page. Yeah, yeah on right. my Facebook page. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna have some kind of funny quotes coming out. Um, maybe a contest of the funny, uh, funny reviews you can write on swimming pool. Um, so yeah, just, I just want to get people really involved. And then, um, when, when the video comes out, I think that's going to be really fun. Um, and we're gonna have a we're gonna have a big party, probably well, that, a pool party. <laughs> <laughs> go figure, right? That's <laughs> awesome. Well, let's go ahead and play a little bit of it right now, kind of into our sponsor segments. So we have to do that. Unfortunately, we have to pay <laughs> the bills. I'd love to just go through, but uh, <laughs> all right, here it is. Do you mind if I jump into your swimming pool? It's alright. You don't need a swimming suit. We all need a cool. Cause it's a hundred degrees in the valley Wait your turn Have to slip and slide You're listening to Trisha's on the changing stage With the WSF Radio Network We'll be coming back to us shortly This is a special, special track Make sure you go to to Trisha's website Check it out Thank you for listening to WS Radio. Improve your business and your life with useful information from experts and thought leaders. WS Radio is radio with ROI. You may have heard me brag about Progressive Medical Center and just how much they've helped me with my health. And Dr. Goley, one thing that you've helped so many people with is migraines. Unfortunately, there are millions and millions of Americans who are suffering with migraines and headaches, and they're debilitating because it affects the quality of their life, and they cannot function properly. At Progressive, we get the root cause because we understand that migraines could be caused by nutritional deficiencies, hormonal imbalances, believe it or not, delayed food sensitivities. And once we determine what the real reason is, we put a plan of action together with medical medication that we get them off slowly and we put them on a all natural approach and the results are amazing incredible i mean there's so many people that can say they don't live their lives with migraines anymore thanks to progressive medical center and that's what's exciting and rewarding to us as physicians because we help our patients take control of their health and that's why they're living well why don't you get a hold of progressive medical center today don't live in pain don't have migraines anymore just go to their website progressivemedicalcenter.com this is your life live it well your guy, Doug Young, here for Sports Squawk Saturday with your guy, Doug Young, here on WSRadio.com. Hear hot charger talk from the biggest names in sports every Saturday here on WS Radio. In the military, things can change in an instant. The Navy Mutual Aid Association, we understand because it's our life too. That's why our dedication to serving the life insurance needs of our military veterans and their families is unrivaled. Navy Mutual offers superior life insurance protection without military service restrictions and limitations. A single focus on providing the peace of mind military families are looking for. That's what we do. Navy Mutual, insuring those who serve. Call 800-628-6011 or go to NavyMutual.org. Do you want to be a professional coach? Are you in business trying to make a real difference with people you manage or work with? Have you started a coaching practice that isn't quite getting off the ground? Get the skills you need to be a successful coach today with the Coach's Training Program from Accomplishment Coaching. The Coach's Training Program will show you how to help others focus and be more fulfilled. Whether you want to improve your company's bottom line or create a thriving coaching practice, 
Accomplishment Coaching can give you the distinctions and practices you need to coach others effectively today. Accomplishment Coaching has spent six years developing a cutting-edge coaches training program that will have you ready to coach people professionally in just 12 months, and you don't have to take time off work to do it. To find out more about the coaches training program, just call 1-888-548-6813. That's 1-888-548-6813. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com Welcome to the Changing Stage. Music gear talk from the manufacturers and musicians who define the biz. Here's your host, Florentino. Buenaventura. Welcome back to the Changing Stage. This is Florentino Buenaventura with my co-host Trishes, and this is going to be our segment all about cool gear. And I'm going to bring on a very, very uh, special guest, Mr. Anthony Conti. Are you there, Anthony? Yes. Hey, Florentino. How are you doing, sir? I'm well, thank you. So for Hi, you, Trish. So for you folks that are uh, in Radioland, uh, Anthony is the vice president of Acoustica. Uh, is it software or is it just straight Acoustica? It's uh, Acoustica, yeah. Okay. So, and you're going to talk to us a little bit about your software. And the reason why I think it's so special is that this show is all about what it takes to make it in the business and kind of getting your, your feet in there. We've got Trisha's, who has been launching a few albums and doing it on her own, doing it in a unique way. And your software really provides those people with uh, a desire to make their own and record their own music a cost-effective way versus the the hundreds of thousands, million dollar uh, st- company, uh, you know, uh, studios. So. Anthony, tell us a little bit about uh, Acoustica and the, the software that uh, is making a big difference in this business. Okay, sure. That's absolutely true, but it, you know, it wasn't always that way. And it, it took a, a little bit of, of a, uh, the computer power to catch up to the uh, software technology. So um, I've been at Acoustica for two years, and uh, Mixcraft is the brainchild of uh, Joseph Clark. He's the founder. Uh, he's based out of Oakhurst. And... Um, He's a lead developer, and he was soon joined by Dan Goldstein, who is his uh, partner, who have designed uh, Mixcraft uh, Pro Studio, uh, which is uh, about $149, and you can you can um, you can pick that up at uh, your you know local retailers. You can pick it up online. Uh, it's for the PC. It's uh, known as a kind of a quote unquote garage band of the PC. Nice. Very and, cool. Uh, yeah, and, and and why it is uh, a very popular solution is because it has a very easy, simple to use, powerful interface that's not too busy, you know. Um, so the the interface is very easy to understand. It's, you know, it looks like a tape deck. You know, chord, arm, play, rewind. Um, but the, uh, uh, the the tools that are also included in Mixcraft are uh, uh, loops. There's content uh, about 6,500 loops and samples that. Uh, users can use. They can um, manipulate them. They can change tempos. They can um, add other instruments. They can add effects, and it can all be done um, on you know right off the shelf uh, uh, PC. And see, that's that's what I think is so amazing about this. You can have a really cost-effective laptop, uh, and I'm assuming it works on Windows 8, right? It does absolutely. Yeah. So you you can pick up a laptop anywhere between three to five hundred dollars that would. Uh, be pretty comprehensive, you know, with Toshiba or HP, and for 150 dollars more, you've got uh, the power that. Well, I coming back from uh, you know the old days where we had to have a, you know a 300 thousand uh, dollar deck to actually get a decent sound, you know, um, like the, the Mitsubishi's or the the Studers. You know, it just it's amazing what you can do now with the software, and you know, you don't need much more than that really. Maybe a audio interface. Are, are there any audio interfaces that kind of work? Uh, really well. Sure, yeah. Well, I, I was. Yeah, I was alluding. To it. Really, it wasn't always that way. It's like um, I, I started 
selling music software in the late 80s for Dr. T's music software. And, and Remember that, mostly, man. That was cool stuff. Yeah, and mostly the users were, you know, kind of high-end engineers or they were in industrial bands. And most of the users actually weren't using PCs. They were using Ataris and Amigas, and it was coming out of the U.K., yeah, coming yeah. out of Germany. So most of, most of the sales that we were selling to were to Europe. And, you know, uh, bands like Nitsa Reb and Depeche Mode, stuff like that, Flood, a very, very popular producer who really embraced the technology. But this was only MIDI recording. Yeah, yeah, and it was all number-based. I remember that. It, there was no timeline to it like, like we have now. So you, you had to look and, and adjust everything by the numbers. You you're there? Oh, Anthony, you around? Did we lose you? Well, folks, sometimes we have these little technical difficulties in our engineer. Oh, okay, all right, so we're back. Okay, so after, yeah. you recorded, uh, for, after you recorded your first sec or second audio track, the computer locked up because it wasn't powerful enough. Yeah, yeah, so, I remember those times. So, yeah, so you really could not produce what you can today, professional quality digital audio in um, with you know just out of the box, but because of you know the high speed mic. Oh, we uh, looks like we got Getting some con out. yeah we got some connection issues, um, and and I'll kind of carry on from there with. Uh, with uh, the uh, you know the software, you know, one hundred and fifty dollar package. That's that's amazing. What software did you use, Trish, for your for your uh, uh, project? Um, for swimming pool, we used Logic. Logic, and okay. Usually, my work tapes, I just used GarageBand because. So yeah, well, GarageBand doesn't cost, but Logic can be a little pricey. And yeah. I use uh, you know I use Cakewalk, and my first venture in a Cakewalk was like. Six, seven hundred dollars, I think. It's like going, it, this goes way back into the. I'm actually not. I'm not familiar. It's, with a, it's a PC, so I'm a big. Okay. I'm a PC guy, so that's kind of why I like uh, the music craft stuff. So it ran seven hundred dollars. So they didn't. We didn't. We didn't have this available when I came out with it, the music craft stuff. So I think that was uh, really is a you know a, a powerful tool. And hopefully Anthony can come back online. I don't know. You know, as we do these things with with phones, sometimes. Uh, they don't always uh, carry on through. This is actually our first time that we lost our uh, uh, a guest, so I don't know if it was. A... We lost him. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm back. I keep coming. I'm trying to call in on a different phone. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, no I, I understand. <laughs> so we carried on through. Basically, I said that uh, you know, with 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 Cakewalk, I spent seven hundred dollars for my package to get started. This was like Cake uh, Sonar Five, so. I wish I would have known about the uh, music craft back then because I would have been very happy with spending only 150 bucks. Uh, so, what kind of what kind of interface do you use for this? Anthony. Yeah, sorry, I'm getting bumped down. So sorry. Um, the uh, yeah, I didn't get to hear the last part. I'm so sorry. She, she was saying but, what um, kind of interface? Yeah, actually, I. I did work at Cakewalk for 19 years. I was a vice president there as well, so very familiar with seeing the growth of. Uh... All right, <laughs> it's like we're having a mix. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, we're gonna we're gonna see what's going on with Anthony. I don't know if it's. Uh, I think he's calling in from a cell phone, possibly. So as uh, you know, the businesses of, of the wireless industry go, um, it, it kind of happens that way. So we'll wait to see if he comes back in. Right. So. Uh, are, now, do you use? Have you used software like this, Trisha's? I have not used this type of software in particular. Um, but what I really like these days is, are those mics that have just that, that USB. Yeah, yeah. In so I'm sure you can probably, you know, use that with this, and then you don't need to get an interface. You don't yeah, yeah. need any of those things. I um, just picked up one for one of my my singers. Uh, we, 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 are you there, Anthony? You're back. Yeah, I'm back, but you're gonna lose me. So sorry. <laughs> no, no worries, man. No worries. I really appreciate you coming on. It's uh, you're back east, even though the company is based here in California. You're back east, right? Oh, we lost him again. So, um, so yeah, it's uh, uh you know, uh, with with software. This is the, Anthony. Uh, okay. <laughs> we are we are bringing him in and out. So, thank you, folks, for being so patient through all this fun stuff. Technology at its finest. No, I'm in it. I'm in, I'm in, the, I'm in the segment. I just got <laughs> We hear, <laughs> we hear him. So, um, anyway, Trisha's, uh, as you were saying, you you use different types of software. You've been using GarageBand. 
Yeah, I just do those for my work tapes just because it's just so quick and easy. Um, I honestly just use the internal mic when I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, but there are there's some great mics that I use for other work tapes. Um, yeah. That it's just that USB in instead of working through like my inbox and stuff. Yeah, I yeah. just it seems like such a hassle when I have to do that. Well, so where uh the one that we picked up the other day was the Blue Yeti. I don't know if you've heard of that. Yes, that one. And they have um like different different scales of how nice like you can get one as cheap as like a hundred bucks or something. Yeah, we picked it up off Craigslist actually for like seventy bucks. Yeah, so. and it's awesome. And it sounds it sounds really good. Yeah, they're, they're really good. There's a it's a dual capsule uh deal, so it really kind of I think yeah, that's the one I've used. And um, and they sound pretty close to what you get in the studio, so uh, in fact, we just picked up an AKG 414. I don't know if you know what that microphone is, but uh, it's been like the industry standard, and it's a very similar type of uh, uh, technology that they have the dual capsule, and you can kind of change some okay. of the patterns and stuff like that. So, you know, I guess what we're trying to say here, folks, is as you are looking at, you know, for those people that are looking at getting into the business or maybe musicians that haven't really gone to the recording side of things, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money. There's companies like MusicCraft that are making great tools. Now, they've got their Pro that's about 150 bucks. But if you don't want to get into that, we've got the uh, the, the package that's only $75, seventy four ninety five, dollars And that kind of gets you started and gets you into, uh, you know, really uh, how to, 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 to run recording on a professional level. Because they do have their home package, though, for those. Hobbyist, which is uh, the fifty dollar range. Well, and if you're like a parent who's, you know, you have kids that are in music, I feel like it's so important to, along with learning an instrument and learning music, learning how to record. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and this is it's a great way to have kids get started in that. Yeah. Well, we are now into our next uh, commercial segment, so. Thank you, folks, for listening to The Changing Stage. We'll be back in a very short while. This is Bill Gruber with BizVid Communications, a Southern California video production leader. We've been honored to sponsor, produce, write, and host many of the fine programs on WS Radio over the years. So we understand how important the Internet and your website exposure are. As video producers, we know the tricks and secrets to incorporate video to increase your search engine optimization and business success. Visit BizVidCommunications.com to see what we can do for you. B-I-Z-V-I-D Communications.com. Love to read but just don't have the time? With Audible.com, you can catch up on reading simply by listening. Audible has the largest collection of digital audiobooks, over 85,000 titles in every genre. Listen to a bestseller on your iPhone, BlackBerry, Android smartphone, or one of 500 other compatible devices. Visit audible.com slash wsradio today and get a free audiobook when you try Audible free for 14 days. That's audible.com slash wsradio. You've heard me bragging about Progressive Medical Center and how they've helped me feel so much healthier. But one thing, Dr. Agoli, that a lot of people come to you with is just unexplained pain. They just can't get any relief. Why can Progressive Medical Center's pain management center help them? First of all, we have to acknowledge that pain is for real and you've got acute pain and chronic pain. Here's the problem. That acute pain turns to chronic, which is longstanding, and no one's getting to the root cause. There's several key diagnostic components that help us get to the root of what's causing this pain. Is it inflammation? Once we do a thorough evaluation to get the root cause determine if it's structural or if it's a metabolic issue. And this way, we put an individualized program for pain management involving correcting the spine, using certain injections when necessary, and we get our patients out of pain quicker and they stay out of pain because we teach them how to live their life well. Don't let yourself live in pain any longer. Get a hold of Progressive Medical Center today at ProgressiveMedicalCenter.com. Progressive Medical, this is your life, live it well. Hi, this is Rob Barnett, CEO and founder of VinVillage.com and the Wine and Dine Show on Vin Village Radio. Do you have a wine, event, product, or service to promote? Then contact VinVillage.com to reach thousands of wine lovers across the country. Vin Village connects like-minded wine enthusiasts with unique and exclusive wines, events, products, and services. To learn more, contact us on VinVillage.com. Vin Village is where wine lovers connect. 
When it comes to printers, Canon technology has changed the way images and text are put to paper. Canon's laser beam printer technology has redefined both color and black and white printing standards in over 80% of the world's laser printer. Canon's bubble jet printing technology has completely revolutionized color printing by consistently delivering new innovations from personal use and home office businesses to corporate solutions. Canon printers have the technology and reliability you're looking for. Learn more at Canon.com. Talk to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com. <laughs> Welcome to the Changing Stage, music gear talk from the manufacturers and musicians who define the biz. Here's your host, Florentino Buenaventura. Yeah, 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 we are back. This is Florentino Buenaventura, and this is the Changing Stage on the WS Radio Network. And uh, we had a couple of challenges. I think we've worked those out. We're going to bring back Anthony Conti from um, uh, Acoustica uh, towards the uh, fourth segment. Uh, but I've got a very, 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 very special longtime friend, Mr. Bobby G or Bobby Gonzalez. Bobby, you around? I am right here. What's up, Tino? <laughs> Bro, what's going on, man? Oh, man, you know, same old, same old, man. We, we, with our busy schedules, man, I got to get you on the radio just so we could we could chat and hang out. I and, know, isn't it crazy? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you're where, you're in North Carolina or something like that, right? I am actually in uh, Augusta, Georgia, right now. But uh, yeah, South Carolina actually. But uh, wow, I'm out eating restaurant. I mean, I'm eating, out, I'm eating at a restaurant right now. So okay, and you're I'm not eating myself, a restaurant. And it, and it didn't. didn't through so anyway <laughs> no 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 worries man what do you have first question is what are you having to eat brother i'm hungry <laughs> oh man i had a uh, baked salmon uh broccoli and a loaded baked potato oh you ain't right man <laughs> <laughs> i expected that to be way more unhealthy <laughs> wow and, and in georgia too i know it's good yeah. i know it's good yes absolutely <laughs> so folks i'm sorry folks i uh, th- I've known Bobby since kindergarten, and uh, you know, well, let me let me kind of tell a bit the the folks that may or may not know you. I mean, your name is exceptionally well known in the industry. You're one of the gu- top guitar session people around. You've uh, worked with folks like Lionel Richie, Earth, Wind and Fire, Mariah Carey. I mean, I, I could take the whole show and just go down the list of people that you've actually played with, and uh, you know, it's an amazing amazing career that you had. And now yeah. you're, you're, you're 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 you live here on the the West Coast, and you're over. In the East Coast, what are you doing in the East Coast right now? Um, we're out here doing sessions, producing, writing, you know, wherever the work takes me. So yeah, I, I hear you, brother. I hear yeah. you. Man. So folks, uh, kind of going back to it, I've known Bobby since kindergarten. Yeah. And uh, you know, we were in our, each other's first bands, and uh, uh, in fact, you used to be a bass player, isn't that correct, sir? Yes, I started off on bass at the age of thirteen. Yes. Uh, that's when, you, yeah. When, actually, I played violin from fourth grade to ninth grade, went to bass, uh, studied that uh, intensely. And uh, remember, we started my first group, and you were my manager, and yeah, Nick yeah. Green. Yeah, man. And uh, he, he was a bass player already, so I said, okay, you play bass, and I'll, I just jumped on guitar. Yeah, <laughs> Whatever, yeah. however that worked out. Exactly. And I've been with guitar ever since, so... So I, I like to tell you folks, this is this is this is this is one of my biggest memories. Me and Bobby were kicking out of his house, and his family is an amazing musical family. Um, and you know, he was like, "Hey, Tino, can you show me this this chord here from uh, the song you really got me?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." I, I, I te- played it terribly, and then next thing I know, like a few months later, you were like playing like. Eruption from Eddie Van Halen, and you were like <laughs> doing these crazy virtuistic. Guitar playing. I was like, man, that's not fair. <laughs> that's just what you call practice, and you know that's woodshed. You know, practice, practice, practice. Exactly. Is, man. So, tell us a little bit about uh, you know how everything kind of got started, actually, in the professional side. So, we talked a little bit about you know the, when we were kids, but uh, how did your professional career kick off? Well, out of Kennedy um, High School, seventeen. Uh, I auditioned for Marty Hom, who is a 
you know, he's another big, uh, what does he do? Uh, he's, road manages. Yeah, road for, manages. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway, he called me and said, come down, there's a band, they need a guitar player. And it had happened to be a band that had Eddie M, and Eddie M is a saxophone player who was on tour with Sheila E. He used to, well, he's still playing with Sheila right now. Sheila E. And the tour was uh, the Propa Rain tour. And so he had a band when he came home with his brother, and, uh, John Paris from Earth, Wind & Fire, who's a, a drummer with Earth, Wind & Fire right now. He was in the band. and So anyway, I auditioned. They liked me. But the only thing was I would have to move to San Francisco because there was a Bay Area band. And uh, from that point, that band was called Mixed Company. Uh, Eddie knew, you know, the whole Minneapolis scene back in the day, and Jesse Johnson, guitar player for the time at the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. came through and took the whole band on tour in 1988 Love Struck tour. I remember uh, that. From, and um, uh, from there, we went on tour with uh, Karen White in 89 for about a year and a half. It was Karen White we were opening up for Levert and Bobby Brown. <laughs> and, you, and that was a huge tour. And, and, and then from there, Mariah Carey, uh, oh, yeah. Sheila E., uh, Wayman Tisdale, blah, blah, blah. It just keeps going. It just, it just, you know, just everything connected. You were like 19 when all that started kicking in, when you were playing with all these top players. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. It, it seemed like you were so, you know, we were all mature at the time, but you were, you were just a baby, man. Uh, you know, yeah. I, yeah. I, I remember going to your show at the Palace in L.A. You gave me tickets. I'm kicking it backstage, and this kind of, you know, aspiring singer named Rafael Sadiq was that back there with me. And <laughs> yeah. we're talking about, yeah, I know Bobby, and we were talking about how they were recording Richmond, and then, you know, uh, Janet Jackson walks by us, and we're like, oh, my God, hopefully it's going to be something like that for all of us. And, of course, we now know Rafael Sadiq from Tony, Tony, Tony. So. Absolutely. Amazing. He's, worked, he's working with Elton John. Um, I believe wow. right now. Wow, wow. And yeah, Mick Jagger. I mean, he's in a whole other echelon of music, man. He is. That, that's a talented brother as well, man. And, and you know what's kind of crazy? All of these folks came out of Sacramento at the same time. You, uh, some of the people that you play with, tell us a little bit about uh, some of the folks from the, the whole town, the hometown. Absolutely. You got uh, Derek D O A Allen. It's like my brother, and he's uh, he played bass with Karen and went on to play bass with Lionel Richie as well. He went on to play bass with um, Janet Jackson, and he's amazing. Producer, man, he's had um, what was that? My goodness, how many? Goodness, um, he's working with a uh, R&B artist right now. His name is Joe. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I remember Joe? Yeah, he's he's all over the place, man. Just <laughs> in the cut, but just I mean, making it happen. He's incredible. Yeah, yeah. he's he's phenomenal. Yeah. Well, and that and that's it's an amazing thing. And so you know, one of the things that we like to get on the show here is. That uh, that one like moment where it's like it, it just stands out in your mind, something crazy that you know uh, you know people would want to hear about. They wouldn't normally hear when you're out on tour or when you're in the studio. So give us an idea of what that uh, that uh, that memory is that you would be like, wow, this was this was just blew my mind. <laughs> I have a couple. <laughs> uh, I'll let you decide. Uh, there's one incident where. Uh, it was an altercation with Suge Knight. You want to hear about that one, or there's an altercation <laughs> with uh, Prince? Oh. They're all it's, 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 they're all hilarious. They're funny. Yeah. Well, they're not funny, but there's <laughs> people. The people in the industry, there's a certain amount of people that know, and they're just like that is freaking hilarious. I, I think you know the Prince one. I think you told me that one. Let's hear Suge Knight first, and we will get to Prince <laughs> uh, too. Okay, so let me see. We're on tour. This this is '89, uh, and this is when. Suge wasn't Suge Knight, the Suge Knight. He was a bodyguard for Al Heyman, and Al Heyman is a black promoter that did yeah, these, uh, all the yeah, the, super, the what did he call it, the Budweiser Superfest tours, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So they were his bodyguards. He had uh, Suge and his brother Wesley. Those were his bodyguards. So long story short, uh, I'm hanging out in the audience behind the gate. Um, you can see the people, and they're waiting, and they see, I see an easy over here, blah, 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 and I'm going, who is that, blah, 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 this is, this is, it's just people who knew, and that's when they blew up, but anyway, I wind up talking to this girl, and I had seen her before, and it's like, we've always, it's an L.A. girl, long story short, it wind up being Wesley's wife, uh -huh. and I didn't know, which is Shook's brother, 
<laughs> and so he comes up to me. He says, uh, what are you doing talking to my, uh, my brother's wife? And I said, dude, I said, she called me over, blah, blah, blah. And so we're going back and forth, and he just pushes me, and I fly like a little on the floor, just sliding on a cement ground like a little rag doll. Wow, that, and so, and I'm like, too, everybody man. is seeing this, right? And this is, this is at a time where I used to, like, rock uh, country boots, man. I had these <laughs> black and white country That's boots amazing. on, man. So I'm on the ground. I'm like, oh, hell no. So I take off one of my boots, flip it around. Now it's a, a lethal <laughs> weapon, and I'm looking at this dude. He doesn't see me, and I'm about to hit him in his head. Oh. Some, it was uh, it was Karen's road manager that came by and hit me like a it was like a NFL tackle. He tacked me up to the ground. Oh man! And then from that point right there, everyone was like, "You were about to get busted in your head." Okay, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. So anyway, he so I mean it was just it's chaos everywhere. Blah blah blah. So anyway, he winds up getting fired. Long story short, I'm in L.A. and ran into him again with a, a friend of mine named Robert Brookins who has passed away. Yeah, but, God rest yeah, his soul. Yes. So we're in this little club off uh, Hollywood, in Hollywood, and uh, this dude comes up, because I don't remember him, and he says, uh, come here, big old dude, and it's <laughs> wet. I mean, it's not wet, it's uh, shook. And he's, uh, he calls me up, he says, do you remember me? I said, no. He says, uh, he said, you know what? And he never answers. He just goes, you know, um, I should have one of my boys go stick a gun in your mouth and just shoot oh your pump, a, a, uh, your, a, you know, whatever, I'm not trying to cuss on them, but he said, I should do that, and I said, I said, I knew, it. from that point, I knew who it was, and I said, listen, I said, man, please, please leave me alone, please, I'm just a guitar player out here at work, man, please leave me alone, Crazy so he's like, okay. he said, take your little punk, blah, 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 out of here, and <laughs> scared the mess out of me, dude, that's, that's when he was shook. Wow, wow. <laughs> So the second time I saw him, he was, you know, Hey, Bobby, one, 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 and... one second, Bobby. We're going to go to the commercial break because sure. these are time. We'll, we'll come back. I want to finish that story, man. This is a good story. Okay, thank, sure. thank you, folks, for listening to the changing craziness of the music business stage. Uh, we are here with Trisha's and Bobby G. My name is Florentino, and we'll be back shortly. Are you an adventurous wine drinker? Would you enjoy trying a bold red with dark fruit and a spicy finish from Hungary? Or an amphora-style Chivi Pinot with layers of complex flavors? Carpathian Wines hand-selects extraordinary wines from premier Central European wineries. At CarpathianWines.com, you'll find amazing dry whites, big juicy reds, even the famous Tokaya Azu. Discover award-winning limited production wines from the heart of Central Europe. Find them only at CarpathianWines.com. I raised $8,000 to build schools for South African children. After realizing how many people go hungry in San Diego, I now volunteer at a food pantry. I'm spending the next year doing volunteer projects across three countries and helping in ways they designate to be the most helpful. The World Link program at the Joan B. Kroc Institute for Peace and Justice recognizes the potential of youth as agents of social change. Learn how you can help youth become a generation of leaders in action at peace.sandiego.edu. You've heard me bragging about Progressive Medical Center and how they've helped me feel so much healthier. But one thing, Dr. Agoli, that a lot of people come to you with is just unexplained pain. They just can't get any relief. Why can Progressive Medical Center's Pain Management Center help them? First of all, we have to acknowledge that pain is for real and you've got acute pain and chronic pain. Here's the problem. That acute pain turns to chronic, which is longstanding, and no one's getting to the root cause. There's several key diagnostic components that help us get to the root of what's causing this pain. Is it inflammation? Once we do a thorough evaluation to get the root cause determined if it's structural or if it's a metabolic issue. And this way, we put an individualized program for pain management involving correcting the spine, using certain injections when necessary, and we get our patients out of pain quicker and they stay out of pain because we teach them how to live their life well. Don't let yourself live in pain any longer. Get a hold of Progressive Medical Center today at ProgressiveMedicalCenter.com. Progressive Medical, this is your life, live it well. When did men lose their way? Was it Hollywood portraying us as wimps? Is it the daytime serials where we're on our hands and knees begging for affection from women? Is it all the talk shows telling us women want a sensitive guy or a macho man? 
Well, guy, how does it feel to spend $200 on a couple of dates and never hear from the girl again? Doc Loves the System can change all that. 35 plus years of Doc Loves Life has been devoted to a simple question posed to over 10,000 women. Why do you choose to stay with one guy versus another? Doc Loves the System is a realistic approach to dating written just for men. Visit DocLove.com today. That's DocLove.com today for more about the system. It's time to reclaim your manhood. DocLove.com. The system will change your life. Talk to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com. <laughs> Welcome to the Changing Stage, music gear talk from the manufacturers and musicians who define the biz. Here's your host, Florentino Buenaventura. We are back with the Changing Stage. Watch out for Suge Knight Show. (laughs) My name is Florentino, and I'm with... Trisha's, and we've got both Bobby Gonzalez, Bobby G, and Anthony on. And I want to finish up a couple of stories with Bobby because these, these stories are just amazing. You're so, <laughs> so, well, I, let me let me first say hello to uh, Trish, and who else is on on the line? Anthony, are you there? Anthony, hey Anthony, how are you guys doing? Good. What's up, Bobby? Good. I'm excited to hear the Prince story. <laughs> because yeah, because this one, okay, like I'll get to that. It's, this is, so I'm getting off so, uh, the whole thing and when I saw him again. And then Robert, when I went to the bathroom, came back and I told my boy Robert, I said, man, you know, Suge over there, blah, blah. He already knew the story. So he goes, he knows Suge very well. So he went over there and said, blah, blah, blah. He said, man, man leave him alone, man. He, he, then he came back and said, man, he's just messing with you. And I'm like, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. <laughs> so anyway, that's pretty much the end of that. Um, well, I want to of- interject something Go- there, though. What? What Suge Knight didn't know, man, I would put my money on you. You you were the junior uh, uh, Golden Glove champ for Sacramento. Absolutely. So you you could hold your own. I know Suge's uh, big boy. You know boy, what? But... It's, it, when you're street fighting, it's not it's not being nice. So that's why I, I'll pick up a, if there was a a bat, a broom, if I had a guitar, I would have. I mean, you just go for it. You know, it's not it's you no. That's a big boy, man. He's big. But uh, believe me, you're not going to just push me, and I'm not going to do nothing about it. that's just. You, You'd have to see me to understand it. And he's like, you think you can do that, but mm, I come from Freeport, and uh, we don't do that. <laughs> Represent, <laughs> brother. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. So, Prince, Prince, you uh, you definitely, uh, you've been around that camp for a little bit with Sheila E. with with, uh, uh, um, with the time. You were the guitar player for the time where you, you know, yes. you placed Jesse for a short time. And, of absolutely. course, you played with Jesse. So, tell us uh, yes. about the Prince experience. Well, it segues right into it. Uh, 1988 Love Struck Tour. We go, we're touring all over the United States. We wind up in Minnesota. We have a day off. So I'm going, what's there to do out here? Blah, blah, blah. I go to a place called, I think it was called the Pacific Club at, the, at that time. So I go out. Long story short, um, go in and I look, look and I see this guy in polka dot, black and white, and I go, that's Prince. I was going to ask what he was wearing. So. Yeah, yeah. Black folk. It was like the love sexy uh, era, you okay. know? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I said, man, I'm going to first time meeting him. So I, I go up to him. He's listening to the music. And uh, I said, uh, I said, hey, man, uh, I said, you might not want to hear this because I already know we have Jesse had stories every day about Prince. So, so I said, man, you, don't, you might not want to hear this, but, but I'm a guitar player. I'm out here with Jesse Johnson. Just want to tell you, man. You're like, uh, man, a big inspiration to me. I've been, you're awesome, man. Blah blah blah. Right? Man, you're like, you're like, and then you're he like just looks at me and he just time. like kind of just nods his head and just like, you know, thanks, man. So after that, walking around, uh, he leaves. He goes somewhere. I don't know this. So then, uh, next thing I know, I have to use her bathroom and uh, go upstairs. And he's in the corner with two of his bodyguards. So he's in the corner and he's flanked by two big bodyguards. So I go into the bathroom, and I come back out, and when I come back out, I'm kind of like in his 
when you, where he, he can see me, I can see him. So he's kind of thinking that I'm following him or some. Sh- so anyway, he goes like this. He, 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 he mentions like with his finger, like, come here. So I said, me, and I'm looking at like pointing at myself like me. He's like, come here. So there's a table that's, there's a barrier. So I'm looking at him. There's a table, and, and he's flanked by two. I'm trying to get the visuals so you guys can understand it. He's in the corner. He's flanked. There's a table, and that's me, table, prince. So he says, uh, is that your hair? And at this time, I had really long hair. You remember, Tino, my hair do, was all the way down you, my back. You, I said, so for I the said, folks who knew, high school Bobby won best hair <laughs> out of everybody in the school. Yeah. So, yeah, when so they, they announced that. So anyway, I said, uh, yeah, that's my hair. So then I'm going, okay, he's, he's getting ready. Okay, I get it. So he goes, there's a lot of pretty women in here. Why don't you go find one? I said, I said, no, man, I just want to kick it here with you. <laughs> so then he just kind of smirks, and right and then he says, uh, come here. Like, I get closer, right? So I get closer to him, looking right at him in his face, where I could just, I mean, he's right in my face. And if you can imagine, you know how loud his voice can get? Yeah, yeah. He says, get the F out of my face. I mean, loud. The whole club looks. <laughs> I'm in shock. I mean, I couldn't. I was startled, like a deer on headlights. I'm like, and by the time I could got my composure together, because I was like, you mother, you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> then the guard, bodyguards get up and they're like, uh, you have to leave uh, Prince likes his private. So I said, the mother, call me over here. I was pissed. Oh my. Oh God. man, that, that, <laughs> that's the story I remember, me. brother. That's the story I remember. <laughs> So, you know, we've got only a short time left. I want to kind of bring back Anthony for a moment here. Anthony, you know, I want you to kind of give us like a a little uh, blurb about the company. I really want to bring you back. I know we have some technical difficulties. Uh, Tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, the software that people should look out for. And and let's kind of talk about after that, you know, as the industry has changed from back, you know, when we all started, you, me, Anthony, and Bobby, to... Trish's, uh, you know, generation now that they're, 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 everything's like technology and social networking. Yeah, yeah, before, yeah, before, before I had the technical difficulty, I was talking about, you know, the software, music software in the late 80s was, was there, but it was only being used for MIDI sequencing because the computers were so slow. So to get professional recordings, right, you really had to go into a studio, you know, and you yeah. had to spend the money, but, but because of, today and how fast computers are, the hardware is caught up to the software, so you can Absolutely. get professional quality recording with Mixcraft off an off-the-shelf computer, because now the computers can handle unlimited amounts of tracks. You can drop in five, six, seven virtual instruments, 20 or 30 effects. So, you know, the tools are there for the average musician, you know, so it's... Uh, it's, it is it is break it is groundbreaking for just about anybody who really wants to put the effort in. Yeah, 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 definitely. So you know, with, with that in mind, uh, Bobby, you've been through the process. Like I said, all this a lot of the stuff we were talking about happened in uh, you know the the early twenties of, of you, man. And uh, so, what what do you see the differences between today and tomorrow? And what would you uh, suggest to, tr- to Trisha's and anybody who's listening that that's really breaking into the industry right now? Well, being an artist first, uh, know your craft very well. If you're a singer, learn how to play either a piano or a guitar so that you understand what chords are and what melodies are, and you're, it, it helps out. These mu- musicians today are so-called producers, beat makers. They use the technology, and they prostitute it. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like it's a, it's it's... It's good for me because it's cheaper to record, and I know how to use it in, in a way not to prostitute the technology. Yeah. You got 16 year olds that make beats, use the auto tune. They don't know how to sing, but they know they can put in. It winds up becoming hits. Yeah. So everything is so technically uh, perfect. Okay, uh, the drums are perfectly. Yeah, everything is perfect, and there's no human feel. Even the 
which used to be just a vocalist singing that could sing, you can be a half singer, and you can use Melodyne, or you can use Waves, Tune, or whatever. Yeah, whatever. Um, hey, hey, Bobby, I hate to interrupt you, man. we got okay. about 20 seconds left. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to let Trisha play a little bit of this tune. Uh, I definitely have to have you come back on. Too many stories. This is yeah. Florentino with The Changing Stage. Trisha's, Bobby G, Anthony Conti, and we're going to bring these folks back. There's not enough time. Go ahead, Trisha, play, play a little something. We all need a cool Thank you very much for joining us. Thank Have you so much for having me. This is Heidi Rue, and you know, Progressive Medical Center has literally changed my life and my health, but I'm not the only one. Adele suffered from bone deterioration, bone overgrowth, profound muscle discomfort, physical exhaustion, and mental fog. In fact, the bone deterioration becomes so serious that she had to have back surgery. Well, after the surgery, she still didn't feel well, and so that's when she heard about Progressive Medical Center. Progressive Medical Center discovered that her adrenals weren't working properly, her hormones were out of whack, and the drugs she had been taking were doing Doing more harm than good. Adele came into Progressive Medical Center in a walker, physically and mentally exhausted. But now she's a world traveler. She hikes and walks several miles a day, and it's all thanks to Progressive Medical Center. 770-676-6000. 770-676-6000. Progressive Medical. This is your life. Live it well. Take a break from politics. Tune in and learn something. WS Radio shows are worth your time and are filled with tips and advice. Add us to your lunch routine and we'll give you a meal for your mind. Connected World Magazine is dedicated to reporting on the next generation of M2M and connected devices. Subscribe today for only $12.97 at connectedworldmag.com forward slash subscribe. Written for the fast-paced device-enthused individual or business, Connected World Magazine provides unique insight and analysis to all things connected. Subscribe today for only $12.97 at connectedworldmag.com forward slash subscribe. Connected World, living the connected life has never been easier. Do you want to be a professional coach? Are you in business trying to make a real difference with people you manage or work with? Have you started a coaching practice that isn't quite getting off the ground? Get the skills you need to be a successful coach today with the Coach's Training Program from Accomplishment Coaching. The Coach's Training Program will show you how to help others focus and be more fulfilled. Whether you want to improve your company's bottom line or create a thriving coaching practice, Accomplishment Coaching can give you the distinctions and practices you need to coach others effectively today. Accomplishment Coaching has spent six years developing a cutting-edge coaches training program that will have you ready to coach people professionally in just 12 months, and you don't have to take time off work to do it. To find out more about the Coaches Training Program, just call 1-888-548-6813. That's 1-888-548-6813. Hi, this is Felix Taberna, host of Race and Sports Radio. Join our cast and crew every Saturday and Sunday right here at WSRadio.com, beginning at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern. Race and Sports Radio. 